Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be explaining how magnets work. Now magnets basically uh, boil down to quantum mechanics and it's a pretty difficult subject to understand but I'm going to do my best to kind of oversimplify it and make it so that you can understand how they work. So basically the way magnets get their magnetic force is it's a sum of the magnetic forces of the unpaired electrons of the magnet's material. So what does that mean? Okay. Well, basically, electrons have magnetic fields. Electrons are basically really tiny permanent magnets. And so an electron's spin determines its magnetic field. So spin is an intrinsic property of electrons, which is basically, uh, it's explained by quantum mechanics. And so basically, if an electron has a spin, and I've just drawn this arrow here showing that the electron is spinning this direction, it's not actually something you can visualize, that's what's so difficult about quantum mechanics, but for the purposes of this video, we're just gonna say that if the electron spins in that direction, it's gonna create this uh, magnetic field here with north up top and south at the bottom. Now, if the electron were to have the opposite spin, rotate in the other direction, even though it's not actually what spin is, but if it were to have the opposite spin, then the north pole would be down here and the south would be down there. Okay, so, most atoms of most, in most materials have paired electron orbits. So that means that there's two electrons um, going around in an orbit. And so here we've got just a basic visualization, very oversimplified of what an atom looks like. Um, and so you've got these unpaired electrons moving around the protons and neutrons of the atom. Okay, so these paired electron orbits have two electrons, and in both of these electrons have opposite spin. So because they have opposite spin, they produce no magnetic field. But if you have a single unpaired electron with that same atom, so you've got this same element here, except, uh, well, different element, um, and this element doesn't have an even number of electrons, and in fact one of those electrons is, is out on its own orbit. Okay, well, that orbit this atom is going to take on the properties of that one unpaired electron because all of the other paired electrons cancel themselves out. So because that one electron produces this magnetic field, this atom as a whole takes on that magnetic field. So if you stack a ton of these uh, atoms just like this one together in the same uh, orientation, you'll create a large magnet that looks just like this. You'll have north on top and south on the bottom, simply by connecting a big chain of these. So what happens is, with materials that have uh, these unpaired electrons uh, within their elements, there's going to be these magnetic domains, and those magnetic domains are areas where all of the electrons have kind of, all of the atoms have kind of aligned their magnetic fields. But because there's a bunch of different ones, it all pretty much cancels out, and so this material won't have any magnetic property. So this could be something like iron. You might see something like this. Um, whereas you know that iron is, is uh, magnetic because you can put a magnet to it and it will attach itself. But by itself, it may not, it won't attract anything else. You can't put iron to iron and expect them to just stay attached. So the way you can get these aligned is to apply a very strong magnetic field and by applying a very strong magnetic field to this, you can align these magnetic domains and then you will have a magnet with a north and south pole. So, something that does occur naturally but is very rare, um, hence the name rare earth metals, is when these are naturally aligned in a, in a material. And so, the electron orbits, the unpaired electron orbits, are all lined up. They all have the same spin orientation, and so thus there's a north pole created on one side and a south pole created on the other side, and you have a magnet. So that's the basics of how magnets work. Um, there's probably still some more questions as far as spin, but it gets a little deeper into quantum mechanics, and so I just wanted to kind of oversimplify it so you get a general understanding. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.